Hello. Today we are going to discuss about Ast Liver Injury Scale. Ast stands for American Association of Surgeon for Trauma. It is most accepted injury scale for liver and it is recently revised in 2018. Here we can see the classification of AST. We have five grades, grade one, grade two, grade three, grade four, and grade five. In grade one, the subcapsular hematoma is less than 10% surface area. And it, the depth is less than one centimeter for lacerations. And in grade 4 and grade 5, there is a difference in the hepatic lobe disruption. We're going to go into detail of each grade individually. So this is grade 1. As I mentioned before in grade 1, the subcapsular hematoma is less than 10% surface area. About laceration, the depth, the depth is less than one centimeter in grade 2 the subcapsular hematoma is 10 to 15 percent surface area talk about the intraparent camel hematoma it is less than 10 centimeter in diameter whereas laceration is one to three centimeter in depth this is for grade two now for grade three the subcapsular hematoma here is more than 15 percent surface area the intraparent camel hematoma is more than 10 centimeter in diameter or there can be presence of active bleed within the parenchyma. The laceration is more than 3 cm depth and there may be presence of vascular injury. Vascular injury means a pseudo aneurysm or a fistula. This is grade 4. Here the hepatic lobe disruption is about 25 to 75% and there can be presence of active bleed extending into the peritoneum. This is grade 5. The parenchymal destruction is more than 75% and there is just a hepatic venous injury which is cable and central major hepatic vein injury. So comparing grade 1, grade 2 and grade 3 in grade 1, the subcapsular hematoma is less than 10%, in grade 2, 10 to 50%, and in grade 3, more than 50%. Grade 1, the laceration is less than 1 cm depth, in grade 2, 1 to 3 cm depth, and in grade 3, more than 3 cm depth. In addition to laceration and subcapsular hematoma, in grade 2, we have intraparent camel hematoma which is less than 10 cm in diameter while in grade 3 we have intraparent camel hematoma which is more than 10 cm in diameter and maybe active bleeding within the parent camera is present comparing grade 4 and grade 5 there is difference between hepatic lobe disruption in grade 4 it is 25 to 75 percent while in grade 5 it is more than 75 percent and in grade 4 there is active bleeding extending into the peritoneum while in grade 5 there is just a hepatic venous injury which is cable and central major hepatic vein injury and 
we should advance one grade for each additional injury up to grade 3. So this is grade 1 hepatic injury in a 21 year old man with a stabbing injury in the right upper quadrant of abdomen. Axial CT scan demonstrate a small subcapsular and a parenchymal hematoma less than 1 cm thick. So this is a diagrammatic representation of the same CT scan. You can see here the subcapsular hematoma and the parenchymal hematoma. Yeah. So putting the diagram over here, you can see here the subcapsular hematoma and this small piece here is intraparenchymal, small superficial parenchymal hematoma. Not intraparenchymal hematoma. This is a small superficial parenchymal hematoma. This is grade 2 liver injury. A 20 year old man with SLE presented with grade 2 liver injury after minor blunt abdominal trauma. You can see here in uh, grade 2 liver injury, the subcapsular hematoma. is 10 to 15 percent of surface area this is a 20 year old man with CSLE presented with uh, grade 2 liver injury after minor blunt abdominal trauma this is the same patient before and we take the axial CT image through the inferior aspect of the right lobe of the liver which demonstrate multiple low as low attenuations, lesions in the liver. You can see here the subcapsular hematoma. Uh, to check the so in the di diagrammatic representations, you can see the parenchymal contusions. So this must be this parenchymal contusions. This is grade 2 liver injury. This is a grade 3 liver injury in a 22 year old woman after blunt abdominal trauma. Contrast enhanced axial CT scan through the upper abdomen shows a 4 cm thick subcapsular hematoma associated with parenchymal hematoma and laceration in segment 6 and 7 of the right lobe of the liver. This here is parenchymal hematoma. The subcapsular hematoma is 4 cm thick. There is hemoporitonym around the spleen and the left of the liver. In grade 3, this is the diagrammatic representations. This is another grade 3 liver injury in young male patient who fell off a bike. Transaxial CT scan shows a 5 cm thick subcapsular and parenchymal hematoma containing high density clotted and low density unclotted blood. This is the parenchymal hematoma. This over here is the subcapsular hematoma that consists of clotted and Uncluded blood. This is the CT scan of the same patient after two months after the initial injuries. And here the hematoma has become organized, showing homogeneous low attenuation. You can see here in the figure the hematoma is organized. This is a 30 year old male bouncer after blood abdominal injury. Non enhanced axial CT scan of the abdomen demonstrates a large subcapsular hematoma measuring more than 10 cm. You can see here the subcapsular hematoma is very large measuring more than 10 cm. The high attenuating areas with the lesion represent clotted blood. So this is the diagrammatic representation in this case you can see the the change in attenuation between the clotted 
an unclotted subcapsular blood which we will see in the CT scan. So here in the CT scan you can see th this one here this is the unclotted and this is the clotted blood. So now this is the grade 5 injury in a 36 year old woman old man who was involved in a motor vehicle accident demonstrating global injury to the liver building from the liver was controlled by using gel foam so you can see here there is a massive injury over here this is the diagrammatic representations of the same CT scan the global liver injury which is controlled by the gel foam so in liver injury there are secondary signs Second signs are the signs outside of the liver. The first one is hemothorax or pneumothorax. Right pulmonary contusions. Right lower reef fractures. Right kidney injury. Transverse process fracture. There is a small mistake on the spelling of the rib. Sorry for that. Adrenal hemorrhage or retroperitoneal hemorrhage. These are the secondary signs of liver trauma, which will help in the diagnosis. Talking about the differential diagnosis of liver hematoma or lacerations. It includes fatty infiltration, congenital fissures or cleft, hemangiomas, unenhanced aberrant portal. portal and hepatic veins, diaphragmatic eventration or slips. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it.